Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this pneumorphic button to your blogger website. So this is how it looks. We can see we have this button over here and it looks like it is extruded from this background over here. And if I hover over this button, we can see we have a different hover effect. Now if you want to learn how to design this from scratch using HTML and CSS, I have already created a video on that. You can go ahead and watch it. I will leave the link in the description of this video and I will also leave the link of the source code in the description. Now in this video, we're just going to add this pneumorphic button to our blogger website. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website. And if I go over here and click on view blog, this is how our website looks right now. So let's go ahead and create a new post. So here I'll just click on new post and I just add a title over here. And the next thing you have to do is go to this button and click on HTML view. So by default, it will be in the compose view. So you have to select the HTML view. Now here in the HTML view, you can go ahead and copy and paste your HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So I just open the source code and here's the HTML of our design. So let's copy this HTML from here. I'll just copy everything inside the body. And uh, let's go back and paste it over here. All right now the HTML has been copied. And here we can see we also have this font awesome icon over here. And then we have this text over here. You can go ahead and change this text to whatever you want. And you can also change the icon over here. And if you want to remove this icon over here, then you can go ahead and just delete this i tag from here. All right now let's go ahead and add the CSS. So I'll just make some space over here. And uh, I'll just create a style tag. And I'll just close it over here. Now here in the style tag, we will paste the CSS. So let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the style or CSS file. And I'll just copy all the CSS from this line of code to the end. And let's paste it inside our style tag. All right, now the next thing you have to do is you have to add a container division. So if you go back to our pneumorphic button, here we can see we have this button and we have a background color for this pneumorphic button. And if I right click over here and if I go to inspect, here we can see for the pneumorphic button, we have this background color of E6, E6, E6. And if I select the body, we can see for the body also we have the background color of E6, E6, E6. So when you're working with pneumorphic buttons, you have to make sure that the background of the button is the same as the background around the button. So right now we have just copied the button over here. So here we can see we have this button over here, but we have to create a container division. So let's create a division over here and we'll give the class of buttons container. And I'll just close this division over here after this button. All right now the next thing we need to do is we need to style this buttons container. So here I'll just add some CSS for that. I'll just type dot buttons container and uh, we have to add a background color over here. So I'll just tap background. And here we can see for the button, we have a background color of E6, E6, E6. So we have to add the same color over here. And we also add some height. So I'll just tap height and let's set it to 240 pixels. And you can go ahead and change this to whatever you need. I'll just set the width to 100%. And I'll also bring everything to the center. So I'll just tap display of flex and align items to the center. And justify content to the center. All right, now let's go ahead and click on publish and confirm. And let's see how it looks. So let's click on view. And here we can see we have the new morphic button. So if I hover over this, we have the hover effect. So everything is working all right. Now you can go ahead and change this background color to a different color but you also have to change the background color of this button. Now, the last thing we need to do over here is to add the icon. So right now the icon is not being displayed over here. So let's go back and let's click on this post. And here I'll just add the link of font awesome. So I'll just make some space over here and let's go to our source code and I'll just copy this link tag from here. So this is the link for the font awesome CDN. So I'll just copy this from here and let's paste it over here. And let's click on update and let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and now we can see we have the icon and everything is working all right 
Now, if you want to add more buttons over here, you can just go ahead and copy and paste the same code. So here we can see we have this button code. If I just copy this button and paste it down here and I'll just change this to, let's say, second button and let's click on update. And if you go over here and refresh this page, we can see now we have two buttons over here and you can go ahead and add some space between these buttons. And in this way, you can go ahead and add any number of pneumorphic buttons to your blogger website. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.